Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the question that is two sum problem, or uh, it is written as given an array of integers and a target value. Find if there exists a pair of two array elements with sum equal to the target value. It means we have to find a pair of two numbers in an array. They can be random numbers, like uh, they should not be contiguous or something. So we need to find two numbers whose sum is equal to the value that is given, that is target value. So, for example, we have an input array here, three. Uh, input array is three, four, uh, four and seven, ten, nine, six and five. So we are given a target value of fifteen. So we have to find if there exists a pair of numbers whose sum is equal to fifteen. So you can see uh, the ten. Ten plus five is also fifteen. Ten plus five is fifteen, and we have, we have one more pair that is nine plus six. It is also is equal to fifteen. So we have to return yes accordingly if the if there exists a pair and no if there does not exist a pair. It can vary. A question can vary. Uh, in question it can be given like you have to return the indices or you have to count the number of pairs. So we will just see the general implementation and uh, the basic approach that comes to our mind is like naive approach that is uh, we can run two nested loops. For uh, like, if we run i is equal to zero to n and j is equal to i plus one to n, so we can uh, check all the uh, possible combinations of pairs whose sum can be equal to the target value. So that would be a time-consuming task. Like it should be, uh, it will be n square time, but it will be o n x o n extra space. But we can perform better. And in this video, I will show you the two-pointer approach, which is uh, good. But there is a better approach also where we can compromise our space complexity, but we can like decrease our time complexity, which would be hashing. I will show you the hashing solution uh, in the next video. In this video, we will see the solution using the pointer two pointer approach. So basically, for the two pointer approach, uh, you can see uh, here we have the array ten four one nine six zero, and the target value is nine. So nine is possible through nine plus zero. So this is our solution. So we have to return yes, and for solving the Using the two-pointer approach, we need the array to be in sorted form. So first of all, we will need to sort the array. So here you can see the pseudo code. We need to sort the array. So this array will become zero, one, four, six, nine, and ten. So after sorting the array, as uh, the problem, like uh, the solution is of uh, using two pointers. So we will use two pointers. So we need to initialize two pointers. That is, one is low. Low will start from zero and high, as the name suggests. It will start from n minus one. That is last index. So we have to run a loop while low is less than high because uh, it should be a uh, like we should run a finite loop. So while low is less than high, we will check if the value at index low plus value at index high is equal to the target value. If not, then uh, we will check if it is less than target value. Then we will increment low because we have sorted the array in increasing order. So if the value that is uh, like a plus uh, array of l plus array of h. Is smaller than the target value, then we will increase the lower pointer. So the value will increase automatically. If the uh, vice versa, if the value is less than the, uh, if value is more than the target value, then we will decrement the high pointer. As the array is uh, in, uh, sorted, sorted. So if we decrease h, so the value will become less. So we will be coming near to the target. So this is the approach that we are going to use. And here you can see the main loop. That will run. We have initialized the low to zeroth index and high to the n minus one index. See, okay. And now we will use a temporary variable to store the value. You can directly write in the loop. I have used this. So this is array of low plus array of high. We will use two values uh, to uh, find the pair, and we will check if first of all the first condition will be if the value is equal to the target value the, that we are searching. Then we will return true directly because we have found the pair. And accordingly, if you need indexes, then you can the pass just index that is L and high low and high indexes. Also, or you can count the uh, number of pairs that exist. Uh, Okay, and the next condition will be else if else if the if the value that is sum of these variables is less than the target value, that means we are uh, like less than the target value, so we will increase a low pointer because uh, as a low point array array sorted, so low pointer increases the value will increase automatically. So we will increase the low pointer uh, left pointer, and uh, if so, it is basically low a bit more. So this is low pointer, 
and we will check if uh, it is also not the condition that means the target value is less than the temporary value that we have found so we will decrement the high pointer as i is sorted so if we decrement the high pointer the value of the temporary will, uh, variable will decrease so if this condition works then it's okay if uh, this condition does not work and we uh, lower reach is high or low becomes more than high so there it does not exist anywhere so we can return false directly so we will uh, dry run this code on the solution so as low for this uh, array the n is 6 so n minus uh, 1 will be uh, 5 so as we will initialize h to the nth n minus 1 index and l to uh, 0 so we will check the, for this condition now we have temporary variable uh, i will use this uh, temporary is equal to 0 plus 10 is 10 so we will check 10 uh, so our target value is 9 so 9 is less than 10 so we will see uh, temporary value is 10 so 10 is less than 9 that is not true so this condition will also not work and it is not equal to target value also so we will come to this condition that is as if high minus minus that means the value is greater than the target value so we will decrease the h counter uh, h pointer so we will uh, in dec decrement it and h will come here now the value will become 0 plus 9 so it will become 9 so now condition will satisfy if temporary is equal to the target we, we can return true because uh, this has uh, found the answer so we will run it on different test case also like the one given here so it is 3 4 and just a second i will copy it and we will just a second so this is the uh, this is our input array now and uh, here we uh, we were given elements 3 se uh, 3 4 7 10 9 6 and 5 so first step is to sort the array and for sorting this array you can use merge sort and heap sort quick sort so merge sort will be better because it is n log n complex uh, it takes n log n time so you can use merge sort or uh, heap sort also and uh, the first step will be to sort the array so we have sorted the array it will become 3 4 5 6 7 9 and 10 now we have initialized the low pointer and high pointer now we, our target value is 15 so we will check uh, we will have first of all a temporary variable so it will show uh, the low value and the high value that is 3 plus 10 3 plus 10 is 13 13 is not equal to so we will check 13 is not equal to the target value target value is 15 so it is not equal to 15 but it is less than 15 so we will increase the low pointer so low pointer is uh, as 13 is less than 15 so low pointer will increase uh, or increment so it will come here now our value will become 4 plus 10 that is 14 so we will check now 14 so 14 will still be it is not equal to the target value and else if temporary value that is 14 is less than 15 so we will again increment the low pointer it will again increment and it will come here now the value will be 10 plus 5 and it will be 15 so it is equal to the uh, our target value so we have finally got the solution and if uh, we have not uh, we have to return the indexes so we can uh, instead of this we can uh, in add the indexes to the result array or a list so we will run uh, we will see and run find more pairs so this we have got this so we will now increment our l value and we will come here now we will check if 6 plus 10 uh, that becomes 16 so 16 is not equal to 15 and it is greater than so now we will have to decrement the high pointer so high pointer will be decremented and it will come here now it will become 6 plus 9 6 plus 9 is again 15 so we have uh, again found the pair that is equal to the target value so we can return true and now it will check again 16 or 9 but it will not find any like uh, value that is equal to so after this condition we will return false i have uh, run this array so to show you the how it works if we have not found a pair before so it will check all the pairs if we have not returned this condition return true as we have stored like a result dot append uh, we can uh, append the indexes that is low comma high as a list so this can be also done but we can print the indexes that is print low comma high we can do that also so this was our solution for using a two pointer approach it takes n log n complexity if we sort it using much sort and it takes o1 if you use heap sort it, and it, it takes o n space if you use merge sort it depends if we use quick sort it will also take o n but o1 because it is uh, in place but for merge sort it is uh, not in place sorting algorithm so it will take o n time so this was the solution for this problem that is two sum problem so 
so now uh, we as we have seen the solution so we will see the code also and run the uh, run this input on this code so i have written the code in c++ so here you can say i have uh, input i have taken an array of 10 4 1 9 6 0 and here we have found the length of the array that is using size of a upon size of uh, first element of array so we have target value as 9 and we have called this function and it will return 0 and 1 accordingly if the pair exists so we will check this function and it returns a boolean value boolean type value and here we have passed the array the number of elements and the target value we have initialized left index and uh, the high or uh, lower high index and now we will sort the array using the inbuilt sort function it uses merge sort and we will pass the array and the last index of the array so we will initialize the two pointers as we have seen in the pseudo code that is low pointer and high pointer and we will check while low is less than equal to high we will uh, use a temporary variable to show the value of array uh, low plus array high and we will check if it is equal to target we will return true and else if it is less than target then we will increment the low pointer and if it is less it is greater than the target value then we will decrement the high pointer so if we have uh, we have exited the this loop ends this condition is false well, that means uh, the low becomes greater than the high so that means we have not found any pair so this uh, will return zero then so we will see if it works and and you can see uh, it shows pair exists as uh, the 9 uh, we have seen this okay, uh, input before only 9 plus 6 uh, 9 plus 0 is equal to uh, 9 so we can again check for 15 also so we can see 9 plus 6 is 15 so yeah it shows pair exists so this was the solution and i will share the code in the code in the description also thank you guys for watching do like this video subscribe this channel and do share this video with your friends and comment down below for more programming questions that you want me to solve and do like thank you guys for watching thank you